Hey, how you all going? So in this video, we're doing Cape Howie. Uh, we're gonna go surfing and we found a cool fishing spot. So make yourself a coffee, get comfortable and sit back and enjoy. And for now, we're gonna have pancakes for breakfast. So get into it, eh? Kind of strange, but I eat my pancakes with coconut yogurt. I don't know why I do it, but actually it tastes good. Anyway, today we have very big breakfast because it's gonna be a long walk. Yes, big walk. Up and down, up and down. So that's why we need to eat a lot because if we not, Callum will. All way, just when I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I'm gonna win Jeep away, so. So, anyway, let's finish our breakfast and get ready to huge ball, okay? We're making our way up the track now, so. The, the track says it's four hours and it's grade four, which is quite difficult. Um, but last night was just super, super windy. The van felt like it was gonna blow over. We were just, just, just sitting there. And um, so, cause of all that wind last night, I know there's gonna be waves somewhere. And this morning, it's still a little bit windy, but it's nearly completely dropped off to what it was. So I'm gonna push Kate up this hill and we'll um, hopefully get this done faster than four hours and then get, go for a surf this afternoon. So let's get into it. Go! <laughs> so we're still making our way along the track and we have a little friend. They're everywhere here, pretty cool. Love them. So in Australia, there's more kangaroos than people. And that's... Three times more. <laughs> and that's probably why we're seeing... Every time we walk, we bloody see kangaroos everywhere. Every time we drive, they're bloody trying to jump out in front of the car. They're just freaking crazy, honestly. Yeah, because but, honestly, that's their land, not ours. Yeah. Actually, but one bad thing, like every time we're driving, there is just dead kangaroos everywhere on the side of the road in Tasmania. It's it's pretty bad. Um, I, I don't know what they can do about to fix that problem, but I don't know, it'd be too expensive to build a fence everywhere, but I guess it's expensive to build a road anyway. But anyway, let's keep going. So, we nearly up. I know what can... What I want to say you, I need to die. <laughs> so hard. Like, yeah. We had a big breakfast and now Kate makes us do a four hour walk up a hill. Thanks, Kate. That's, that's good fitness, eh? <laughs> We have made it to the top of Cape Howie. Uh, two hours up, two hours back. It's okay, it's not so difficult. Yeah. It's you winch the whole way. It's pretty hard, um, but here's the view.
So Cape Howie, bloody hell, what can we say about it? It is, oh, get in here where it's a bit more comfortable. Yeah. Um, it's absolutely beautiful wall. It's very beautiful. It's, yeah, I mean, standard, crazy cool Tasmanian cliffs that and just blow your I really like they have a place where you can go, like, where you can look down and see the salt. That's yeah. Now, it's a, it's a four hour track. It's grade four, which is actually um, quite hard. And yeah, I mean, it, it was hard and it, it was a pretty popular it's track. So there was a lot of, a lot of um, older people doing it and not having too much issues. They're just taking their time. But like, there's just this, it's just the stairs that are absolute killer, just up and down stairs yeah, the whole way. No flat ground, it's just. But if you don't rush, it will be all right. So just prepare yourself for big walk, like take water, everything, and go for half a day, <laughs> and you'll be all right. Yeah. Because Callum like to run and <laughs> yeah. make me feet. Yeah. So anyway, it's a uh, must-do Cape Howie. Get into it when you arrive in Tasmania. And yeah. And one thing's after big walk. Now we need to drive somewhere and. 100% find a shower. <laughs> yeah. So let's do it. <laughs> Kate's jumped on Wiki Camps and found a hot shower right near where we are. So we're getting ready and we're Pretty keen to get in a hot shower to warm up a little bit and yeah, because to get Callum clean. Stinks nah, so I don't. Kate's starting to stink. I don't stink. I smell like roses all the time. So we've got. We have a little bag each. Kate's already packed hers. She's ready to go. Got mine. We got our cool little towels. Is our name? And then to be clean. Yeah. So. We're going to use public showers for this. Hot shower? Yep. <laughs> Let's get into it, eh? So look guys, how the public shower look like. We have here hanks to put all our stuff. And that's it. This is hot shower without door. So probably I keep my bikini on because I'm a little bit shy, some people can come in, there's not many people around, but anyway. So, we have hot water here, cold here, and I already tasted, and it's... Oh! So it's really nice and warm, anyway. So let's get to do it! Oh guys, it was just awesome. I'm very clean and I'm very happy. What about you? Yeah, me too. I'm super happy. That water was, the, the pressure was just amazing. I, I feel clean. The water was hot. Could have been a little bit hotter, but that's just me. I like really hot water. Um, now we've, we've finished with the cliffs for now and now it's my turn and we're going to go find a beach and I finally get to go surfing. So. Let's get on the road, let's go! So here we are, we've come to the caves with the surf spot. Suited up and now it's time to get serious.
Good morning. Um, today we're going to go fishing off the edge of the cliffs. So follow us and let's go. So I'll just show you the things I'm using for bait instead of the mussels. No idea what they are, but... Just been using this. Put cow and catch avalone. Yeah? Yeah. So we're going to cook the uh, beautiful avalone. Avalone, I found. I found two recipes one Chinese guy fries it first, um, and another guy takes it out first. So uh, I think we'll take it out first. <laughs> So now we're going to cook the mussels, um, just a bit of garlic, some butter and just some lemon juice to help it steam. And just so how we go? He hit the GoPro. Yeah, I know. Is it all open? Have you tried one? Yeah, so good. I'm just preparing all of them now. So I've just um, done the abalone in alfoil because someone didn't want me cooking seafood on the pan. But just wrapped in alfoil um, with butter and garlic and didn't overcook it because a lot of Recipes were to eat it raw, so just a little bit. So how it tastes? Good. What remind you? Maybe a scallop, like a um, tough scallop. But it's worth trying, but I wouldn't pay for it. So dinner tonight, we're gonna have fried rice with broccoli. Kate's out there being a rat bag. <laughs> what are you doing for our broccoli? <laughs> yeah, so Kate's a little bit batshit crazy. I'm back! <laughs> but um, super excited about having uh, fried rice. Um, yeah, what can we say? We Absolutely loving Tasmania still, L loving the whole van life thing, it's just been great. Yeah, and how many times I already told you that Tasmania is perfect place for van life. If you live your van life, come here. Yeah. Come here and stay here six months, year or something, and you will really enjoy it. Yeah, it's, it's 10 out of 10. 
Um, like the waters are clean, there's fish in the waters, there's like... Abalone you are Yeah, abalone that you can catch. Silver um, pink, whatever yeah, you want. You need to get a really. license for the abalone um, to dive for them and check the sizes. 120 for north and 140 for south, I believe. Um, yeah, but like waves here are just awesome and you know i mean not many people come out and go surfing which is good so it's not yeah, too crowded because ice cream headache. yeah you get constant ice cream headaches we call them it's just that cold on your head when you go up like put your head under the water to go under the waves or whatever it's just and it's honestly remember, almost painful <laughs> and do you remember um, uh, people say here the locals say you need all the time close to your ear yeah so they all wear yeah. um like earplug sort of things like or blue tack or something and i said why is all doing that uh and they said you can get like the cold water going into your ear um makes a bone grow or something and you have to get it drilled out so it sounds terrible sounds strange but um i didn't wear any of that but yeah, hopefully you I'll, yourself. yeah hopefully i'll be okay anyway so that's the week done at tazi and we're well we excited for yeah. our next, next, next golfing next Tassie. Week. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, make sure you uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one, eh?